Welcome back everyone. How are you all doing today? Now I'm back today guys and I'm gonna make for you guys coconut fried dumpling. So these are all my ingredients. I have about two and a half cup of flour here. I have my B-cell butter. I have an egg. I have my baking powder which is very important. I have salt. I have my coconut here. I have some coconut milk so I use this I just use some of this and some water to it I didn't use like the the straight coconut milk I had about a quarter cup and I had the rest with water and here is the coconut and I have my sugar so I'm gonna be putting in my salt I'm going to use less than a teaspoon of salt and my baking powder I'm just going to use a teaspoon full I'm going to add some sugar here, some brown sugar about it guys he said butter I'm not gonna put a lot of butter because the coconut I already have gonna put the coconut in so I'm going to use less than a teaspoon so mix this in for a little bit my egg And this is my coconut. This is the natural blended coconut. I'm gonna add my coconut to it. If you don't have this, the, the natural grated one, you can get this the, the other coconut that is in the store. You can buy that or in the bulk barn. But this is a natural coconut that I'm using. So I'm just gonna mix this all in. pour the coconut milk in but for extra flavor guys I'm using coconut milk but if you guys want you can just use the plain water or you can use milk but I'm just using the, um, the coconut milk for extra flavor and as I told you guys I didn't use the old can I used just about a quarter cup and I add water to the rest So guys, if you notice, I'm not pouring all at once because I don't want it to get too soft. So I'm just going to mix it in until it's of the right consistency of a doughy, of, you know, dough. So stay tuned, guys. Guys, this is what the dough look like. So as I told you guys, just put a little at a time because you don't want it to be too soft. You want it to be like this. When you hold it, you don't see nothing comes off your hand. Okay, but when it's too soft, your hand's gonna be sticking. But now this is the right consistency, and this is the oil that I use. And use my pot on the stove. This is the amount of oil that I'm using. So I'm gonna make just little small ones, not too big. I want this size, guys, and I'm gonna kneel it like this. It's very easy and you can if you don't want to kneel it I'll show you another way that you can do it but this is the size I'm doing I'm gonna put it in because the pot is already hot so I'm just gonna make small ones and put it in so I put it on low guys because the reason why I do that I don't want it to be burnt because if you have the stove on high it's gonna burn and your dumpling is gonna be raw so when you do it on low it's better So I'm gonna let it brown cook on one side until it's brown and then I'll turn it over back to the next side so stay tuned 
So these are the colors that we are looking for, guys. So remember to keep your stove at low so that it don't burn too fast. So stay tuned. Finishing product for my coconut fried dumpling. See, I already broke it and show you how moist it is inside, guys, and how crispy it is on the outside. So guys, very tasty. Go ahead and try it. I already have a fried dumpling video, but this is a new twist to it. So go ahead, guys, and try it out. And have a blessed one. Love you guys. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. And keep those notification bells on. So as soon as I upload a video, guys, you will receive it. Peace out. God bless.